from the Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once. For the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples he explained everything in private. Let's listen to Pope Francis' commentary. Jesus, oggi paragona il regno di Dio, cioè la sua presenza che abita il cuore delle cose del mondo. Today Jesus compares the kingdom of God, that is, his presence that dwells in the heart of things and of the world, to the mustard seed, that is, to the smallest seed there is, it is really tiny. Yet, cast upon the ground, it grows until becoming the tallest tree. This is what God does. At times, the din of the world, along with the many activities that fill our days, prevent us from stopping and seeing how the Lord is conducting history. Yet, the Gospel assures us, God is at work, like a good little seed that silently and slowly germinates. Good, let us remember, always grows in a humble way, in a hidden, often invisible way. <laughs> 